All right, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have an awesome product review because in my opinion, this is going to help out a lot of business owners. I know that a lot of you guys watch this channel in terms of trying to find different resources that you can use to help you scale your business, build your business credit, and ultimately monitor it. So we haven't necessarily covered anything like this on this channel, which is why I'm so excited to introduce this product to you guys. Uh, we're talking about Tilful today. Now, one of the reasons why I like Tilful is apart from some of the reasons we're going to get into today is it's one of the easiest ways that you can monitor your credit and also see or your business credit and also see what type of funding you're able to get according to the credit score that you have which again we're going to be breaking that down here in this video but just a quick little a uh, sign here usually whenever you are looking at your business credit or whenever we're let's say talking about uh, how to build your business credit usually it falls around the same guidelines right open up your LLC, get your corp, have your business address out there, uh, build up your trade lines, whether with trade lines or financial trade lines, and all of that stuff is good, but you never get the full picture of, okay, now that I've done these things, what can I actually qualify for? It's kind of like those other services with your personal credit. We won't mention any names in this video, right? But kind of like those other services and those other apps where if let's say you pull up your credit score, it gives you two different scores, TransUnion and Experian. And then off of that score, you're able to see more so what they approve you for or what type of credit cards are out there. And at least that way you have a more actionable approach that you can take for some of the credit cards that you can apply for. And at least that way you're not left in the, in the dark kind of like what you would be with business credit where, okay, dude, I have these trade lines. I have uh, my business address, have my LLC. I've built up my paid X. I've built up my Dun & Bradstreet, but what do I actually do with this score? And I think that the solution to that is going to be what Tilful has been able to put together here and just having all of that in front of you so that way you can make a better decision when it comes to your business. So I want you to join me over on this side of the screen so that we can kind of break down some of the features and benefits that you can take advantage of by signing up for Tilful. And by the way, it's completely free to sign up with them. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and check it out on this side. All right, so first things first, we have the Tilful score. Now, I don't want you to confuse this with a paid deck score from Dun & Brassy. This is the Tilful score. So consider this kind of like um, a proprietary or a different algorithm that's going to help you uh, kind of make better financial decisions and choices when it comes to applying for different types of credit lines and business funding. Because again, this is kind of going to take the guesswork out of it for you. So breaking down how the scoring model works for them is uh, from zero to 51, it's very poor. From a score of 52 to 65, it's considered poor. From 65 to 75, it's considered fair. From 76 to 82, it's considered good. And from 83 to 100, is considered excellent. Now, one of the things that I like about this is that it runs for the most part on a parallel with a pay deck score, uh, which is anywhere from an 80 to a, to, to a 100. That means that you've been making mo most of your payments on time with your net 30s and your net 60s. So it's a good thing that they run parallel. So it's not something that you have to think about on, okay, well, a pay deck is zero to 100 and a tilful is a zero to, let's say 500. No, no, no. They're both zero to 100. So you know that if your pay decks and, you, and if your tilful are both at an 80, then you have an increase increased chance of getting approved for higher business funding. Now, one of the key things that I like about this is how accessible it is. Right here, there is no need to pay for expensive credit reports from traditional business credit bureaus. Without alternative credit scoring resource, you get unfettered or unfettered access to your credit score at any time without even hurting your credit score, along with email notifications when your score changes. Again, this is awesome because it's unlike anything we've necessarily seen in the business space. You see this a little bit more in the personal space, but again, concerning your business credit, I really think that this is a tool that you should definitely consider adding to your arsenal. Um, while every lender is a little bit different, our credit, our credit model can help you determine whether you're qualified for a credit product before you apply. So let's Let's go ahead and break down exactly what their credit model looks like so you can see exactly how that score is generated. That way you can have a better understanding of what they're taking a look at and what gets weighed differently. 
So how it works, TILFL uses real-time transaction data from the bank and credit card accounts. Then we apply our machine learning based credit model to find patterns from cash flow in order to accurately assess business credit scores. In addition to, tradi to traditional factors such as payment history, uh, these cash flow patterns could include increasing or increasing trend in cash balance, e irregularities in flow, inflow and outflow, usage of overdraft facilities, and other factors. In other words, it's not just going to take a look at have you been making your payments on time for your net 30s, for your vendor accounts, or for maybe if you already have some type of business credit. I think that's one of the bigger metrics that uh, is considered here, which I think is a breath of fresh air, especially if you're first starting to build up your credit, is oftentimes a lot of people, they end up generating a substantial amount of income before they actually qualify for any type of credit. And that kind of sounds counterintuitive to what we need credit for, right? If you're making a lot of money, why would you need credit? But obviously we know that credit is leverage. But on the back end of that and looking at it from a different scope, if let's say we're generating enough income and if our business is healthy, then that should be an actual, an actual metric that gets thrown into the algorithm and into the equation. Because kind of like some other funding uh, programs that we've covered on this channel is apart from your credit score, your business credit health, they're going to look at how much cash flow you've had in the last 90 to 180 days, three months to six months, right? And so the fact that they include that into the score, which is going to help you kind of take the second guess out of the type of business uh, funding that you apply for, it's definitely a win-win. Now, if you're wondering, does TOEFL provide any type of funding? The answer to that is no, they don't extend any type of loans or extended credit, but they do help you in their network uh, of partners that can help you. So let's say if uh, we just go ahead and go here where it says visit our apply for funding page to learn more, it'll go ahead and take you to this page right here. And as you can see, just by looking at some of these different logos like Divi, National Funding, uh, Brex, uh, credibly north one we've already covered some of these different lending partners and programs which again i think that it's going to help you understand a little bit more of who you should or shouldn't apply for at least at this time based off of what they tell you and it's totally free for you to apply on your end if you are looking to again extend that business funding now again this is more of a third party approach from tilful you're not going to get the loan through them instead they're going to extend it through their partnership. So I just want to make sure that you understand that. Now down here, you're going to see that the minimum, the minimum qualifications is $5,000 in monthly sales and over six months in operations. That's nothing that's out of the norm. I would say that 99.99999% of business funding is going to come down to those simple requirements. Uh, again, to get a traditional type of business credit or business funding, if you're going for maybe a charge card or if maybe you're going for some type of prepaid card, then those requirements could bend a little bit. But if you're going for those higher limits, then stick to those guidelines of $5,000 a month and at least six, month, uh, six months in reported business or at least your, L your LLC or your corp having been opened. Now, one last thing that I thought was important, I thought you should know, is that Tilful does not perform nor a soft nor a hard credit pull to generate your business credit. For that reason, it will not appear as an inquiry on your credit report and will not impact your personal nor your business credit either. I know that's a concern whenever you're looking at your credit. Is this going to affect me? Is this going to be a hard pull, a soft pull? It doesn't do that. Again, it goes off of their algorithm and some of their proprietary information that's already public out there, by the way, and they just kind of bring that into their system and then they generate a score. So there you have it. Overall, I think that this is a great tool that you should add uh, to your business in terms of uh, kind of like a utility to make the process of you getting approved for funding and going after a business credit. Again, it's going to make it a heck of a lot easier because it's going to take out the guesswork for you by some of the recommendations that they give you of the odds that you have of getting approved for some of their in-house lenders. If you found value in this content, consider hitting the subscribe button down below, join the official community. Don't forget that anytime I'm not posting on here, I'm posting over on the Inside with Irv show, which is my podcast style channel. So if you like what we have going on over here, you'll love what we have going on over there. Once again, I appreciate you guys checking me out. Till next time, everyone, I will see you in the next video.